I'll just wear my nose intake and maybe I'll get a sponsorship. Maybe we'll see you. Go yeah. Yeah, they're really good. Did you try the plums? Uh, no. Did not. Mm. What is up, you guys? We are doing a stream. I'm gonna make it happen. This is an intake breathing strip. And it's really nice, honestly. I want a sponsorship. I hope they, hope they give me one. But it would be kind of weird to have that in clips, so. Let's take it off. It, where are we at in the house? We are at a hotel. <coughs> Make sure you put those magnets on the ledge so that the dogs don't go. Yep. Where do you get it from? I need those. Can't say. Can't say until they sponsor me. I should just get everyone to go and comment <laughs> comment on their thing every time. Honestly, I I would get dude. I need to get a sponsorship for it. Yeah, you would I get them so many sales. I would get them so many sales. It's such a good product. I'll get all my Discord to to comment. Not having a good day today. Well, that is sad. And we are going to cheer your day up with some funny prank calls right now. I love <laughs> Charmish ring light. Let's go. All right. Why are you at a hotel? Because we're visiting Vancouver. Let me change the link on my thing. Can you just pass me your phone for a second? Can you pass me your phone for a second, please? While wow, my phone charges. Oh, I'm going to change the link in my bio right now. One second. Oh. Do we have to <coughs> get dressed up? What? Do we have to get dressed up? Okay. Link in my bio to get yourself a prank call. How do I request videos for past calls? Don't do it. <coughs> um, we don't do it. You got to be a tier two subscriber for that. Kaylee G will lose unless you're that one person I said I was going to get it to. Who was that person? Is that my phone now? Love your streams, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Now, who, uh, who has a good, who has a good prank call to do? Mallory Daniels. Please tap that screen. Let's get some links going, some likes going here. And as I said, we are in Vancouver, so we're West Coast. I'm having a bad day. I'm diabetic and I have no money. We're hitting the trauma dump goal already. Alex's color green looks good on you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing the live. Did you, Alex, did you say my name? I don't know. I, I'm not sure about that. Does anybody have somebody good for a, for a prank call on the stream? Maybe a patron or a subscriber. Hello from Wales. We have hit Wales. 
I have not been able to see you live lately. Yes, you have. You have. You can get the hat. Me, I do. Okay. I'll just, you know what? I got to catch up on the ones from Discord. I'll just go there. I'm a patron. I sent a free call request on Discord about a week ago. Uh, what is your... What's your name on the Discord? So I can do it right now. What's up, Tim? Can I actually make a video on your phone too? There you go. Uh, Thanks, Tim. That's my first big gift of the day. Let's fucking go. And mm. what's up? That peach was just peachy. Peach. should the video of the day be? Can you send me an invite to the Discord? You just got to go to discord.alexbyron.com. And thank you, Max. I did do the public prank yet. I was assaulted. <laughs> and yeah, what would be a good... The Splitters took over Doc's live last night. How was his, how was his stream? What should, I, what should I do as a, as a video? Yeah, I can't believe that video didn't go viral, Curtis. I'm, I was very sad about that. It didn't hurt at the time because I thought I was going to get a viral clip out of it. I thought that guy was going to become a meme. Why did you come on my furry ID? You should be calling someone's grandma, telling them they should be sent to a nursing home. I don't think we're going to do that. That seems kind of mean. Um, he talked about your fight video. Oh, did he? What did he say about it? Um, call your friend and let them know they have a warrant out. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, always happy to work with, with Doc. I, I, uh, I need a video idea for the day. Um, what would be a funny... We need more Margaret calls. Yeah. RuPaul, come snuggle with me, please. Fresca, come on. I don't know. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to space out. I'm literally, literally just trying to think of something. Pre-book when. Hold up. Let me come up with an, an idea first. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think I can do you. I think I can do UK. Dude, I can't think of anything. Okay, I need to start thinking of whatever video I'm gonna do before I, before I. Does, okay, does anybody have a good prank, prompt video? I'll do. Sharks are attacking people in Florida. You could do something around that. That's good, but I think it's a little bit too niche. We need something that is a preacher who cusses. Look and prank call ideas. That's but that's businesses and stuff, right? I mean, I mean to get people joining the the live stream. Um, dude, I can't think. I just can't think of it. Tell them you're going to set up an appointment to change the refrigerator light. Why is that funny? Doesn't sound funny at all. Use, yeah, I tried to use AI before and it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. It says it's against the moral 
you know, you can't use ChatGPT for pranks. Do the restaurant survey. The restaurant survey. The... Just do the hang up ones. Those those were funny. Uh fuck. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I gotta come up with one. I gotta I gotta at least try one idea. Look at Taylor's idea. Just write it. Just write it. Just write it in the chat. Where where you survey the random customers. Yeah, but that's not a that's not Taylor's an idea. Like cold people around Calgary and Twitter using too much more. No, it's gotta be it can't be niche like that. It's gotta be for everyone. Pride. Yeah. Maybe a homophobe Pride Month thing. A limp call pretending to be a mystery shopper. Uh, it needs to be it needs to be call somebody who blank and blank, right? Um Something to do with churches. Credit company. You should call someone. Um, I'm going to text you this idea because it might be a little risky. Just say it. Just please say it. Repo in someone's car. T call somebody who breathes and tell them they're using too much oxygen. Try to convince someone to be a furry. Chris, you just say it, man. I'm I'm dying here. I'm dying. I texted it to you. Call someone. Nah, doesn't feel right. I just need one that feels like a good potential something. Prank call my dad. Uh, what if you, what about calling somebody who's currently on vacation somewhere? Uh, saying that something happened to their house. Saying that I, I saw people frogging in their house. You've done that. I'm going to do that. Also, I haven't done that. I don't know why you said that. You have done that. I haven't done that. You have done that. No, I haven't. Yes, I have not have. done for when they're gone. Yes, said, you have. No, I haven't. I said that I was frogging. There was this house. one. Yes, no, you did. And I remember no, because you did this no. one call She's with wrong. this couple who was away on vacation and you said that you were there and you left like a note behind and they were like freaking out. And Yeah, but that's different than saying I'm a neighbor and I saw people in the house. Okay, I remember, I remember that. That's different. Okay. I don't, know if, I don't know if there's enough people that are on vacation. I might just... You know, that's why, like, annoying exes is so good. Everyone has an annoying ex. Angry people, good. Call ma mama's boys. Um, and invite them to an event with their girlfriend, but describe their mom. It's and not, then when they go, are it. you talking about my mom? It's not it. It's hard. It's harder than, it, harder than you think, eh? Call people's friends who have first dates lined up and pretend to be the Aww. date's dad. That's pretty funny. I like that. Good idea. Okay. If you know somebody who has a date coming up, please, uh, first, first date, right? Like, yeah. or, or really, uh, they'll know what I mean. If you know somebody who has a date coming up, please let me prank call pretending to be that person's dad, vetting them before they actually meet the person. Uh, let me know in the comments if you got somebody good and watch the stream right now because we're doing it. I mean... First date is better, yeah, but they know. Then I think that's pretty much implied, and I don't want to. I don't want to restrict it. Okay, 
Congratulations to the person who came up with that. That was the best, best idea of the day. I'm taking the dogs to pee. Because really, Fresco, are you coming? Mm mm. Okay. First, first call of the day is Alex, yep. Where's um, I took the whole thing off, but I don't, I don't know where I put it. His collar is here, but where's his leash? I'm, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Tyler works with Griffin Protective Services out of Sacramento, California. Please prank call him and tell him that you're his competitor and you're gonna steal his work and sights. Can you, guys, can you guys hear me okay? Is the sound okay, okay right now? Call people in border towns and tell them there, there was a new survey and now they're, new, they're now Canadian. That is funny. That is also funny, but unfortunately too niche. If, I, if they would just show my stream to people and it would just do well, then we could do stuff like this. But unfortunately, I'm just constantly on the verge of homelessness. Okay, uh, let's do this one. Okay, Alex. Yep. I can't take Fresco. I don't know where it's leashes. Yeah, unfortunately I'm streaming. And I don't want to stop streaming to find a dog leash. But he has to pee. And you took it off him. Why don't you turn the light on? Hello there. Hey, this is Mark Antwis. I'm looking for I'm looking for Tyler. This is. Oh, is this Tyler Lopez? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you're an employee with Griffin Protective Services, yes? Yes. Okay, so I'm with um, I'm with Raven Security Services. Okay. Yeah, and I just I gotta let you know that. Um, we're gonna be stealing a few of your of your clients, and we're gonna mo be moving in on your territory because you guys suck. Respectfully, I mean this as a courtesy call. I just want you guys might want to scale down and uh, cut some hours because we are just elevating the game, and we're not we're not interested in in playing around with pussies. Okay, so what is your position at at uh, Griffey? Or Griffin? Griffin? Yeah. I'm a security officer. Gryffindor. So hairy. how did you get this number? You're a security officer? Yes. Oh, an officer. Wow. <laughs> I'm a lieutenant. I'm a security lieutenant, but who's counting? How did you get this number? I got your number from our database. 
we've just been keeping tabs on some of the bad security guards, like weaker, less professional, like lower intelligence security guards, because we're trying to we're trying to get new customers. And we think that it would be good to start with with those weaker links. You're a, you're a weak you're a weak guard, kind of like a princess, like a security princess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a child in the back? Or is that I just do one have of... my child. Yes. Oh, I thought that was one of the security guards, just because they're crying. Now, would you would you like to join us, and we can actually build you up. We can create you into a new, stronger, more powerful security guard. You don't need to stay with Griffin. We can offer you $49 an hour and training and a really cool uniform. See, I'm all about loyalty, so I'm going to have to decline your offer. Okay. So I'm actually calling from Loyalty Check. LCC, the Loyalty Check company, we're a third party and I was hired by Griffin, we're just calling to see if how easily people would jump ship. And it sounds like you are pretty loyal. So well done. Woo. So how, how did you get this number again? They gave it to me. Your boss gave it to me. Okay. Okay. Good job. Keep up the good work. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Okay, not the most interesting man, but uh, I, it is what it is, I guess. He's so confused. I will give you the number. All right. We have, we have, let's delete this request. Easy to be loyal when you're stupid. I just seen this number written on the back of someone's van in Bradenton, Florida. Bradenton? And it said, need a call? Need a snail hunter? Call this number. This is a snail hunter. Should we call the snail hunter? How you guys doing? If you could please tap that screen and share the live, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Aisha, for that corgi. And uh, and tell Doc, tell Doc Compton that I wanna I wanna do something with him if he's down. But I it's a lot of pressure because he gets a lot of views, so it feels like whatever we do is just gonna make people angry because they're gonna be like, do the thing we want you to do. But anyway. We'll try. Hello? Leave me a message after the thing. Well, I really do want to talk to the snail hunter, so let's send him a text. I've got an incredible idea for this, for this one, guys. Hey, snail hunter. Whoa, there's a snail emoji. My friend's going on a date tomorrow. I will give you his number to act like his date's dad. Very nice. Um, I want to do more of those. How's that video doing? Calling as date's dads. Okay, it's doing pretty good. We should focus on that. So yeah, I'll do, I'll do some free ones for that. So if any of you guys know somebody who's going on a date, let me call them as the, the date's dad. It's actually pretty plausible too, right? So... I think that this could be a, this could be big for us. I feel like a lot of the best prank call ideas you guys come up with, not me, which I guess makes sense. Um, I'm going on a date tonight. Let me call them as your dad. Huh? Thank you, JR. Okay. Snail Hunter has got him back. He says, yo, what's up? You need my help. I got you. So let's, let's call. Hello. Oh my God. How do I get through to this guy? Call me, please. Tim, you know, it's going to be a snail trail. 
You know it's going to be a snail trail prank. Everyone watching this stream right now knows it's going to be a snail trail prank. Okay? If you guys want a free call, just comment on my most recent video on TikTok. I need an intervention. I have DT. What does that mean? Okay. Leave me a message. Hey, this guy's ass. Okay, if you can't talk to your customers, I don't want to talk to you. Okay, let's talk to someone as the dad. Who's got a dad? Uh, can you guys DM me? DM me all your info if you. Um, if you have somebody good for the dad call, I will send you his number. Yeah, do it right, do it right on TikTok. And I'm going to do it right now. We just need a number. We need a first dad call. And I think they'll pick up, right? Because we're going to be watching the Mavs game. But yeah, let's do this later. <clears throat> okay. He's getting ready for the date, so yeah, call. Okay, yeah. Brittany, give me the give me the dad. Let's do the dad or let's do the 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 dad the dad victim. Okay, here we here we go. This is for Maverick. I have someone good, you will be Eric, and his date's name is Vale. Okay, I I need to make sure. Hold up. Who is my child? Maverick, who is, who, who are all the players here? I'm a little confused. Maverick's such a cool name. Her name is Maverick Meadows. Oh, that's a nice name. Miss Meadows, I'm Eric. What is my child's name and who are they going on a date with? What's going on here? Is she here? No. Feel like I've been hung out to dry a little bit here. I I need more information on this one. Okay, well, I guess if the if it's a if a guy picks up, I'll just say. Okay, Maverick. Yeah, I'm Eric, right? So, who is the date and who is my child and what's happening? What does yes mean? I'm very confused. Hello? Hey, this is Eric. Hey. Hey, I believe you're going on a date with my daughter soon. Yes, I am. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I just wanted to call and touch base. I'm a, I'm a little more protective than, uh, than some fathers out there, but I'm a, I'm a good guy. I just, uh, just have some basic questions. Okay. Yeah. So just, just relax. Don't, no need to, yeah. Yeah. Little V is my, um, well, means it means I didn't think I'd be able to have kids. Um, so obviously that was, a, that was God's gift. What do you do for a living? Um, right now. How do I pronounce that? Uh, Rhymes with pale. Sorry, go ahead. I'm just talking. Uh, about I'm trying to get a job right now. I was doing electrical work though, but I think I'm going to start going to school. Okay. So you're unemployed right now? Yeah. I had an interview today though. Okay. All right. So how are you going to, you know, how are you going to pay for dinner and stuff like that? You have some money saved up? Yeah. I have money saved up. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And, um, this is your, this is your, you a religious guy at all? Not necessarily, no. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm that, that's okay. I respect I respect different kinds of people. I'm a God-fearing man myself, but yeah. You know, I just uh I personally I teach a philosophy of withholding intercourse. I don't think that it's good for people to have sex very, very quickly 
do you, uh, do you have a plan on like how many dates you're going to go on before you put the P in the V? No pun intended. Uh, no, I don't really have plans for that. Okay. Well, I would, I would really appreciate it just, just in case you guys really hit it off, which is a good thing. I hope that you do hit it off, but will you bring some spermicide? Like, um, maybe like a, Co a Kirkland Costco size spermicide because you never, everyone can talk this and that. I don't have, I don't have plans for this. I don't know what I'm going to do, but if you, if you have some of that, then you can ensure that no one gets pregnant. You don't have to use a condom. It can still feel good. And, and they make spermicide that comes, you know, hybrid spermicide lube. And now you're, you know, you got the proper hydration and there's not going to be any kids because you, you don't have a job right now. Like respectfully. Yeah, yeah I you, definitely can't afford a kid. Okay, good. So I'm, I mean, honestly, you might just want to finish on the titties. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just fucking around, man. I'm not Eric. <laughs> Who are you? I'm just uh, I'm just a guy that likes pretending to be people's dads. <laughs> uh, well, I was confused when I saw the Texas yeah, number. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where are you guys going on the date? Uh, to the butterfly biosphere. The butter. Oh, that's romantic. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, you trying to smash, you think? I'm not Maybe. Eric. I'm not Eric. Maybe. Okay, I am Eric. So I just said that to try yeah. to figure out your true intentions. Yes, yeah, so you are trying to have sex. Not really. But you said you were kind of trying to smash. And I think that, you know, that means sex. I might be an older guy, but, you know, smash means sex. Yeah, that is what that means. Yeah, is that a, is that an innuendo? Going to the butterfly exhibit is a is a little <laughs> down below. No, I'm just I'm not Eric. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, man. Have fun with the butterflies. All right, thank you. All right, that was a good for a first first dad call. Timestamp. Timestamp that. Yeah, so Ethan uh, tipped us. Okay. And he said, this is just a tip. Just a coincidence that it's the same price as a pre-book. One pre-book? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just open up pre-books on a day for him? Because you just were let... on vacation and I don't know what day we're going to guarantee to stream. He wants to, he wants to pay... For pre-books. But I can't guarantee a stream. I don't want a bunch of people to buy pre-books. It's not a bunch of people. It's Ethan. <laughs> it's Ethan. What's your cash app? My cash app is Alex Byron Comedy. Okay, does anybody else have a dad that yeah, we I'm can... Sydney one. Thank you, Sydney. I think it's positive. It's funny. That's the whole point of this is to be funny. Thank you, Ethan, for your generosity. Okay. Brittany, I'm doing your call right now. If you want to shoot me a, a cash app or Venmo, they're both Alex Byron comedy, but that's honor system because I'm going to do it right now. My date's name is Jack and I'm Brittany. My dad's name is Chris and you can totally fuck with him. He's picking me up at 645. We're in Odessa, Texas, and we're going to Watkins tonight. Okay. I'm going to make another video of this with a, uh, is somebody timestamping? Did somebody timestamp that one? I think that would, that would make a pretty good clip. Let me know if you need help with mod Venmo setup. I do. I definitely do. Do not know how to do that. Okay. I sent you one. Uh, okay, thank you. I'll just do that and then I'll do this and then that. If you guys want a guaranteed call, go to the link in Alex's bio. Thank you, Kaylee. I can't see. See my cash app or Venmo right now, so. Press go. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, is this uh, Mr. Gibson? It is. Hey, this is Chris. I'm uh, Brittany's father. 
Brittany's what? I'm Brittany's dad. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's was, up? You getting ready for that uh, for that date tonight, huh? Something like that. Yeah. So, what are you guys doing? I'm just um, I'm an overprotective dad. You know how it is. Yeah, well, see, we're hanging out, man. It's doing our thing. Just doing your thing, huh? Yeah. Now, does that uh, you guys going to get some dinner? You gonna gonna have some food? Gonna have some drinks? Pretty much. Yeah. You trying to have sex? I'm joking. You don't sound like, you I'm don't joking. Sound like your dad, bro. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, the reason I'm calling is that um, you know I'm not sure if Brittany told you about the trauma that she has, but uh, when she was young, she was uh, trapped in a, a motorhome. It was just teetering on the edge of a, a cliff and uh, she has commitment issues and she might just freak out. She might just absolutely freak out and just start attacking you. So I want to maybe go over just some of the de-escalating measures. You sound like a really sharp guy. So. All right. You're not, you're not really a sharp guy, are you? You're a bit, you're a bit of a dullard, respectfully. This guy sucks. Brittany, this guy, is this guy like really, like, is he like a really good woodworker or something? Is he rich? This guy, this, that guy better be very handsome. Because he is a slowpoke. There's nothing going on there. He's in the oil fields. <laughs> All right, so he's rich. Okay. The lights are on, but nobody's home. You should tell my dad I got caught shoplifting or something wild like that because... Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay, this is Raul. He slept with this woman on Friday night named Vanity. She may be a stripper or an... OF, I don't know, an off, let's say off, an off model. We aren't sure. Pretend like you don't know who he is and you found his number on your girl's phone. Pretend you're Vanity's boyfriend and fuck. First of all, her name is Vanity. Yeah, she's a stripper. Drag queen. Yeah, or a drag queen. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And fuck with him. She has multiple kids with different men. She has been married several times, maybe not a drag queen, and takes the, well, she could be a mother, like a drag queen mother, takes the guys, okay, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Have, so, oh, he's, he already slept with, she's a woman. They, they slept together. Okay. So because okay, okay, all right. Please check the number and dial again. Hmm. The number didn't work. Oh, it's because you didn't, can you write up the, the number? No. <laughs> I'm giving RuPaul a puppy massage. You are the worst employee. I'm giving RuPaul a puppy massage. Okay, here we go. Raul. Our call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Raul. Okay, let's text him. Hey. Hey, Raul. Is anybody in Vancouver? Vancouver, Canada. I... We'll be doing a surprise show here on Wednesday, if, if you want to come. Okay, 
Maybe I should say, hey, Ra Raul, okay, I'll, I'll do a, I'll do a, hey, Raul, you didn't pick up, so I'm just le leaving you a little voice note here, but um, I've got some important information about vanity. I know you guys got involved, and um, yeah, I just need to speak to you, so if you could call me ASAP, that would be fantastic. Okay, let's see what that, what that leads to. Um, okay, can we get to 1000 viewers? Tap that screen guys. And hi, I'm Peyton. You can be my dad and call my new boyfriend. It would be epic. They just met in the worst of ways super quickly and my parents didn't say anything. Boyfriend's name is Fred and my dad's name is Gary. Peyton, are you here right now? You did not, you did not send me the number which I do need to do a prank call. Okay. Uh, did we get, um, did we get a timestamp for that, for that call? I can't remember. Sent. Okay. Thank you. Paid in. Here we go. For the butterfly one, yes, yes. Did you hear about Big Brother Canada TV show? Yeah, man, that show has been around for like 20 years. I have definitely heard of it. Okay, let's go, unless there's some other, what do you mean, heard of what? The show or something that happened regarding the show? Hey, I'm looking for Fred. This is him. <clears throat> this is Gary, Peyton's father. Oh, hi. How's it going? Good. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I just wanted to touch base, see how things are going. I'm uh, always trying to keep tabs and be a good protective dad, you know? All right. Yeah, so uh, how's your... How's your job going? How are you doing for work? I'm doing good. Yeah? Yeah? You guys, uh, you guys having fun together? As in? Ah, just fun. How's the relationship? How's, you know, how's it going? The relationship is going well. Fantastic. You guys being safe? Yes, sir. In terms of intercourse, because the, I do you, listen. I know that's kind of an awkward question, but the reason, the reason I'm asking about sex, I don't want to beat around the bush. That's what we're talking about. It's fine. It's a normal thing. Is you know, Peyton had an experience a while back where it was a. I guess you'd call it a experimental phase where. She was just having a lot of random, unprotected intercourse. And, uh, yeah, the bipolar stuff hit pretty hard. And she would just go out, meet a guy, karaoke or whatever, have sex that night, no protection. And it was just, you know, an abortion escalator. That's not escalator. Conveyor belt is what I'm thinking of. A conveyor belt. Oh, I guess... An escalator, if you imagine at the, t either one works. Just imagine there, there's an abortion clinic at the, t at the top of an escalator. And she's going up every single time. And that takes a, a lot of wear and tear on a, on a woman's stuff. And I want to make sure that doesn't happen anymore. You know, her, her body count, as the kids are saying, is, you know, over 100 at this point. And that's, 
that's when you get to the good guy, right? The guy that's going to take care of her. Hachi's there now, if that counts for anything. Pardon me? I said she is there now, if that counts for anything. At the abortion clinic? No, with the nice guy. Oh, yeah, good, good, exactly. Has she been doing any of the uh, possession stuff where she's been talking about, I'm a cool dad, right? I can get you guys pot, I can get you guys, well, I can't get that actually. I have a, I have a ban, my therapist won't let me do that. I used to have a bit of a problem where I, I would, you know, I'd get in the band room and I'd just start working. You know, I had a psychedelic project called Harpeskian and it was a, it was a, ooh, I'm getting a call from a private number. I'll call you back. I'm just fucking with you. I'm not her dad. Timestamp. Hello? 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 Hey. Hey. Is, oh, you must be uh, Raul. Who is this? Yeah. Who is this? <laughs> who, who are you? You're calling me from a private number. The fuck is that? Who is that? Was that Raul? I think that was Raul. Just you timestamp that as a maybe. Um Okay, if you guys want to be next for the prank call. Your call has been forwarded to an auto... Do you, uh... Do you have anyone in the queue? Mm -mm. Okay, so if you guys want to be next, uh, go to the link in my bio and I will do a call for you next. Tap that screen. We're doing prank calls. We already got some good ones. The idea of the day is calling, calling people that are about to go on a date, pretending to be their date's dad. You were gonna do mine, Frosif. Fros okay. Let's see if we got Frosif here. Frosif, Frosif. If you guys want a chance at a free call, just comment on my most recent video, please. And let's do, okay, Frosif. What is Frosif's name? Frosif, what is your name on Discord? Did I ever get an answer for that? No? Okay, then we're not doing that. What's the difference in the red gang and the yellow gang? I don't know. I really don't know. It's my name. Is your name Frosif? Hold up. Amy, Hershey, Cooper, Kayla, Felicia. I'm not seeing a Frosif, my man. Maybe because I don't have wife. Okay, I think I know why. I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi on the phone. Frosif, Frosif. Jonathan, Brian, Cooper. No, I still don't see. Oh, Joseph. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. If we can get to a thousand viewers, that would be awesome. Uh, his girlfriend, Jess, Jess wow. His girlfriend, Stephanie, is cheating on him in real life. He is aware of it, but has taken her back seven times this year alone. Say you got his number from another one of her exes, um, and you guys want to make a surviving Stephanie support group. Oh my God. That is epic. The SS. Let's not call it that. Surviving, that's not my call. Well, 
Oh, that's not, oh, the name of the person to be called is Joseph. <laughs> well, we're doing this one too, I guess. That was a good one. I found, I found your call. Surviving still. Hi, thanks for calling rights. I'm gonna clean this, Joseph. Hello? Hello? Hey, is this Joseph? This is. Hey, man. So I got, I got your, I got your number from one of Stephanie's exes. Uh, oh, okay. Know, yeah, it's Wendell is the name. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was involved with her uh, on and off for four or five years. And uh, some of the, man, some of the hardest years of my life, but um I just wanted to reach out to you because we've got a bit of a, a barbecue that we're planning. Uh, we're just making a, oh, okay. we're making like a surviving Stephanie support group. I don't know how often you cry, but it's tough, man. She just, that badge just bounces around like flubber. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 That's insane. I would uh, so have you just recently cool. been involved with her? Oh, the last time I, yeah, the last time we had sex was this morning, but that was, it was been a long time before that. It was been it's like probably five years, you know. But she, I would just always take her back, and then she would go straight out again and just start getting sloppy. She would she loved uh, just having fun, and you know, she was trying to be she was trying to be a musician, and. She, but, yeah, yeah, she is a crazy one. She's wild, but she's but she's so fun, you know. She's so fun, but she's so wild, and I just oh, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. How have you ever have you ever thought like it's over? I'm gonna I'm gonna end this, and then got him back together with her. Like several times. Jeez, jeez, Louise. How? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we deserve better, man. We shouldn't be cheated. Yeah, we on. absolutely do. We shouldn't be cheated on. We should. We should go out and find good girls. Yeah, honestly, they don't fucking exist anymore. No, they do. They do. Because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm lying. I, I, I'm just making all this up. But seriously, Joseph, I have a good girl now. There's a lot of good girls. I was with a very bad girl, and she was a fucking headache. And you know what? You've got... This is cognitive dissonance. This is the addiction to the toxic women talking. You got to get out of that, okay? Uh huh. Yeah. Hold up. I'm getting another call. Be good, man. Is this the snail thing again? Hello. Hello. Uh, this is the snail hunter. Go oh. On, uh, hey, snail hunter. Need my help? Yes, I need. I need your help, sir. Uh, where at? Uh, so I'm on Martin Luther, but essentially what's going on here is uh, my wife has been, well, she's a, she's a double amputee. She's had both of her legs amputated in the war. She was um, a helicopter pilot in Iraq. And um, at the, oh, geez, I'm getting another call. Hold up, I'll call you back. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? It's Raul. Hey, Raul. How you doing, sir? Hey, doing all right, man. Door-to-door selling spermicidal lube. What about you? Raul. Spermicidal lube. Well, that's not funny. Nobody wants to hear that. Why not? Raul. I thought I thought that was a different person. No, it was me. Oh. I don't think I was talking to Raul. Wait, aren't you the vanity, you to, bro? vanity person? Vanity? Raul, hold up. Because Raul. I'm confused. Why are you confused, man? You had a big order. Raul. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Raul slept with, you slept with a woman named Vanity, yes? I don't remember that. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the end of the road. What a funny, what a funny experience for us. Oh God. 
Um, it was, it's the first guy you accidentally called him Raul. I did? What was the first guy? Who, who was the first? Whatever. Moving on. Okay. Let's do... Hold up. I want to call Joseph back. We got to find out if Joseph's going to break up with that girl. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, well, not funny and not good. One thousand viewers. Yo. Hey, yeah. So I just wanted to make sure that you are, in fact, going to get rid of this broad because she's no good for you. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, Joseph, I will find you a woman myself. How tall are you? I don't you? even know who. I don't even know who you are, dude. Oh, I'm Alex. I'm a I'm a TikTok streamer. You know how do you? So you dated Stephanie for four or five years? No, no, no. I just made all that up. One of your one of your buddies wanted uh, wanted me to call you and try to give you like a wake up check, wake up call. Oh, dang, dude! You're... <laughs> Jesus Christ! I swear to God, she's like right next to me. I almost fucking killed her. Oh well, that would have been bad. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you can I talk to her? What? Hey, Stephanie. Settle I down. Told you to call. Stephanie, enough. Okay? That's a bad reaction, by the way, sir. We sh you, you shouldn't take out your anger on the woman. you got to leave. Now now I'm freaked out. Now you guys might deserve you. You guys might both be toxic, honestly. Don't kill anyone. I don't want to end up in a I'm just. I'm, I'm curious who the fuck told you to call. Well, you're going to have to keep being curious because I can't give out that information, especially to somebody who's as murderous as you. But what you can do is, Stephanie, are you there? Stephanie. Let me speak to Stephanie. I'm just curious who this is, you're honestly. Oh, who am I? I'm Alex Byron. Like I'm Alex Byron. I'm Alex Byron on TikTok. You can come watch my stream. But I want to talk to Steph. Stephanie, why do you think that you get to have so many penises? Everyone else has to be single or in a relationship. Once they get in a relationship, they have to have one genital thing, right? You're not better than us. You don't get to run around and, you know, have multi-fun. That's not how it works. I'm starting to doubt that Stephanie is even here at all. But I stand by what I said. Stephanie might be just a corpse right now. Oh boy. All right. Well, Joseph, it's about time I report you to the authorities unless you put Stephanie on the phone so I can verify that she's alive. I mean, you do whatever you need to do. Put Stephanie on the phone right now. Man, you're fucking interesting. Did you kill Stephanie? She gone. He may have killed Stephanie. We may have lost Stephanie. Well, she was asking for it in a way, but she didn't, she didn't deserve to die. That's ridiculous. <laughs> fucking interesting. Oh, Do you want to FaceTime me? Do you want to FaceTime me right now? Yeah, actually, I do. All right. Well, I'm not calling from an iPhone, so I guess we can't do that. You know, they really need to figure out how to make Androids and iPhones be able to video call each other. That seems like, seems like it's 2024. Or you just do the right thing and you just get an iPhone in the first place. Well, I have an iPhone as my actual phone. It's just my burner phone that I'm using for prank calls. Oh, then why don't you call me off the iPhone? Because I'm using it to stream. Mm. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the end of the road for us. Hopefully, he didn't kill anybody, but I guess I'll have to check the news to find out, or I'll or I'll check with the person who gave me your number. Okay. Good luck with yeah. the cheating and everything. Hopefully, everything works out for you. Um, interesting. You never know what's going to happen on these streams, guys. 
I don't care what you do, but make it hella funny and have Tourette's. I'll tell you, this guy is Indian. All right. Wait, hold up. Christy? No. I think somebody bought a call. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Christy fucking fell asleep. So, if you bought a call, don't, don't blame worry, me. Don't worry, they bought it five minutes ago. No, they are worrying. They've been worrying. Yeah. Noah, can you act like you... Oh, wait. Hold up, hold up. We got to... Hold up, hold up. We're going to do this right... I, I have to call back the snail guy, right? Oh, wait. His number goes to... Nah, fuck it. Raul, did you get through... Yeah. Noah... Can you act like you are a truck driver and you crashed his truck? He works in logistics. Just tr crashed into his truck? I don't understand what this is. Can you help me in the... Hello. Hello. Who's speaking? Is this Noah? This is me. Hey. I've got a got a bit of an issue here with the truck, sir. Who's who's speaking? Yeah, you're you're the Noah in logistics, yes. Uh, which truck are we talking about? I'm sorry. I I crashed your truck. I'm 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 very sorry. What truck are you talking about? I just I've I don't know. Well, I don't know how it happened. It just happened so fast. And I'm what freaking out right now. I'm about. panicking. I know that you would get mad about it. I'm sorry, okay? Stop pressuring me. Stop asking me all this stuff. You're... This is so confusing. You're calling me. What the hell's going on? You, well, you work in logistics. Figure it out. Be logical, man. I'm fucking... fucking fuck this up again. I can't go back. I'm not supposed to be driving like this, and I am. Oh. Who is calling me? What is your name? Fuck you, man. Fuck. My name is Mark Antwis. My name is Mark Antwis. Check the GPS, man. I fucking totaled it. I'm so hurt right now. The box okay, truck. The, the box the truck. The box truck. What's the truck number? Oh, fuck. I don't know, man. I hurt my leg. I can't go to the number. Oh, uh, you got to come pick me up, man. I don't, I fucking shit myself, man. I got so scared. I was spinning off the road and I got the fucking whole thing's on fire. How did you get man. my number? I called the date of, I called your boss and I'm, the fucking truck's on fire, man. Who's, who's the boss? Oh, shit, man. I'm going to go back to jail. I'm going to get fucked again. Oh, uh, they're gonna fuck my ass again. Uh, I'm just gonna die. Just you. Oh, the boss? The boss's name? Yeah, what's the boss's name? I don't know. Huh? Uh, I don't really know. I'm not sure. But I could call him. Do you want me to merge, okay. Do you want me to merge yeah, the call? Well First of all, are you are you on drugs? No. What, what did I just witness? I have a condition known as post tamantuit monensis, <laughs> and I have spontaneous panic attacks, and I'm getting another one right now. Uh, oh shit, dude. I'm fucking gay, man. Ashley, call and say that Sarah has been arrested for indecent exposure at the Muskogee County Jail. And the bond is some absurd amount. The live will end due to inactivity. Does it look like I'm inactive, Tiki Talk? We really need to do Frosa. Uh. Excuse me. I just gotta do this.
Hi, this is Ashley Vames Watson with Southern Glaciers Wine and Spirits. I can't get to the phone right now, but if you can leave me a brief message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Hi, this is an urgent call about Sarah. This is Detective Antwis calling. Please call me back, Ace. So, Ace. Ace. <laughs> I got caught between saying ASAP and saying ASAP. Ace. Call. Okay. Let's, te let's text her. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Hello? Hello? Is this Ashley? Yes, hi. Hey, this is Detective Antwist. I'm calling about Sarah. Oh, so Sarah Schweier? Yeah, or yeah I'm, now? I'm calling from the Muskogee County Jail. And I, I gotta let you know this call will be recorded for our internal use only, and nobody from the jail will ever ask for any personal information. Or any money. Okay. Can you hear? Me? Can you go somewhere a little more quiet? I'm hearing some chatter in the background. Uh, can you hear me now? Okay. May I ask your relation to Sarah? Sarah, who? Let me just pull that up for you. One second. Just. Deborah, what's the last name there? Schweier. And you're calling from where? The county jail. She's been arrested for indecent exposure. Oh, is, this, is this a prank? No. She flashed a street performer. Can't do that. Oh my god, you're kidding. She just texted me. Oh yeah, what'd she say? Wait, hold on one second. What, is this actually for real? Yes, ma'am. Oh my god. Wait, did you just text me? Hey, Ashley? Is this a joke? No, please stop asking that. This is not a joke. I need you to take this serious. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. So what's the question? What's the question? So we, we've set the bond. She asked me to call you. This is your opportunity to bond her out. How much is it? Set at 7,500, 7,500. To get her out of jail. That's right. Otherwise she's gonna be going in for two nights. Yeah, she can sit there for two days. No, I'm kidding. This is, I, this is a joke. This is not a joke. It's not a joke. She took her top off and her bra. She's waving around her sloppies. And uh, Patch Adams, street magician, was very upset about it. She threw, she threw her top down the drain, down the drainage drain. So by the time I showed up on the scene, her tingle bids were still out. And where is she right now? Yeah, she's, been, she's being held by a couple of the other constables. Where? Where's the location? Consensually, but yeah, she is staying in the hole. Where? What's the location? Do you like rap? This is a joke. No, it's not. It's not a joke. We can lower the bond if you hear some some bars. Otherwise, there's going to be bars in front of her in a jail. So you listen to bars, or she's going behind bars. You know what I mean? All right. Okay. Yep. Totally. Yeah. Let me just tell you. Let me read you your rights. Yeah. This is so funny. Detective Anderson, I'm hopping on the mic. This is not a fucking joke, we gotta keep it tight. Otherwise, 99, she's going behind bars for 25 to life. She woke up in the morning, tried to stop beef. She was on the fucking street and she needed to flash. She took her fucking top off and she needs a bath. Sack, cause she's dirty, mm, and my birdie's flying around. And I got about three fucking 30. Yeah, hit it in the fucking car with my passenger. Where you are, I'm pulling up. I got my cuffs out, yes. I see some fucking titties and I'm feeling mad breast. 
Oh, uh, I said rest, I meant bless. Yeah, but she's looking so fucking well dressed. She needs to put the fucking cuffs on and get in the back. And I'm throwing in this freestyle, I'm coming from the cap. You know we like that. Going on right now. What yeah. is going on? Yeah, I'm just messing around. This is hilarious. <laughs> Alright, have a nice day. Okay, moving on to should I do Frosifs? Are you rapping to elevator music? <laughs> do you know how much of a pudding head you have to be to say it? Pete Rock, literally one of the most legendary hip hop producers of all time. Pete Stramentals is like the Citizen Kane of hip hop beats. <laughs> and you're, you're like, it's elevator music. Okay, um, let's go. I wish I had my absentee father. I would, that'd be good elevator music. I would love it. I'd love to hear that in an elevator. Let's go to Frosif somehow. Frosif. Look, I'm not seeing Frosif on here. I have been looking through a lot. I'm starting to get really annoyed. I don't want to say the word Frosif anymore. I don't want to think about... Oh, wait. Didn't you tag me? Hold up. Here, here, smarty poo. Okay. We got it. I got it. Please call my buddy Ryan. He's 45. He lives in H Hammond... Louisiana. About a week and a half ago, he was in the Walmart in Hammond competing on uh, a TikTok Live scavenger hunt game show. He was hitting around the store for about an hour, hitting, hitting uh, other people in their carts with his cart before he was finally asked to leave by store security. Say that after further review into the incident, Walmart has deemed him a danger to the public and he has been banned from every Walmart in the country and his picture has been sent to all of them. Wow. Please call my stepmom and tell her my dad is cheating. Jesus. Hey man. It's pronounced hey man. All right. If the pronunciation is not obvious, please... Let me know because I am stupid. No, I'm just Canadian. I'm not stupid. Hi, man. Hey, man. Your call has been forwarded. Is it hey? Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's text him. He picked up and hung up. Hey, Ryan. Hello? Hello. Is this Mr. Griffin? Hello. Ryan Griffin? Hello? Hey, I'm calling from Heyman Walmart. How are you doing? Hello? I'm calling from Walmart. You call from what? I'm calling from Walmart. Who is this? My name's Mark Antwis. Let me just step out yeah. of my office here where I get better reception. Okay, I, I hate this guy already. I, I will. Yeah, uh, what you, what you, you call from Walmart? I will insult this guy every single time I get a pair of sunglasses. Yes, I'm calling from Walmart about your, your recent little incident that you had. What incident? You were running around the store for about an hour, hitting people with your cart. Unacceptable. What Walmart are you calling from? Okay. This is guy mentally handicapped. Huh? This is guy mentally handicapped. I'm moving on. This guy literally literally sounds handicapped we're not we're not doing an insult goal that was frosif's call after all that hello i think i i think i got the wrong number who is this 
Uh, from Walmart. Yeah, I'm just calling from Walmart. We got a new, um, we have a new type of chocolate milk in, and we're just calling people to pr promote it and tell them to have a nice day. But we might have got the wrong number. Do you like chocolate milk? I thought you, I thought you said you come from Walmart. You called me earlier. Yeah, yeah, but we got the wrong, we got the wrong guy. We call it, we called the wrong guy. Sorry. Who is this? My name's Mark. Uh. You've got the wrong guy. Uh, is your name is your name uh, Chris Grapeneck? No. Oh, I got the wrong guy. I got the wrong oh, guy. Yeah. I'm so sorry about that. Hey, do you like rap music? I like rap music. Why do you say I like rap music? Do you like rap music? Oh boy. Who is this? Who is this is fucking Mark. I'm feeling a little sleepy and it's fucking dark. Between my ears and I'm guessing. Oh, and I'm stressing. Don't want to fucking offend people. Mm, I'm going to fucking keep it cool on the fucking mic. You're awesome for stopping the prank. That's right. This ain't a prank. This is real life. I'm calling fucking people, cheering them up. We stay high. We gonna hang up. Now we stay groovy every single day. And twist life is like a movie. Brian Griffin from Family Guy. No, we're not, but we gotta stay fly. We might be Herbert, though. Mm. Yep. Oh, are you still there? Hello? Okay, they hung up. They hung up. New call. Moving on. Hi, guys. Hmm. Sexy young kids. Frozen, why did you give me that? Bad, bad Frosif. So now you gotta do something for me to make up for that. Call Jimmy. He's a teacher. And tell him the corn hub prank. Something about his girlfriend uploaded a video and now it's doing so well he's entitled to compensation. Tell him the video is called Slim Jim. <sighs> That's a good one. That is good. I might steal that. Hmm. Slim Jim. Yeah. Put it in. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to... Alex, thank you, top gifter. Thank you so much to Bethany Brown. My top gifter today, you have gifted me so much, and I really appreciate it. No, thank you, Tim. Thank you, man. You are amazing. And I would cry myself to sleep without you every fucking night. All right, let's move on to the... Hello, this is Mark Antwist calling for Jimmy Rankin. Yes, speaker. Wonderful. Uh, just because you were one of the two stars in the video and it's hit 500,000 views, we do need to offer you a, a cut of the ad royalty. Glory, <laughs> bye. Pardon me, sir? Wow, what a funny, hilarious thing. Let's call him back. has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're... Oh, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Uh, hey there. We set your call to our voice message system. Nine. Oh, two. Three. All right. Five. Eight. One. is on the phone. When you hear the beep, record your message. Hello, Mr. Rankin. I think we went to... 
Through, we had a little bit of a drop call there, which is unfortunate, but your video Slim Jim is doing really well right now. And we have $17 to give you. And I, I didn't appreciate that. Look, I'm gonna be honest, I'm trying to stay professional here, but I don't like, I don't like how you hung up on me. And I gotta say that you, uh, you have a small shaft. It's thin, it's slim, okay? I'm not supposed to, yeah, I'm not supposed to say this, but you know what, I won the lottery. I won the lottery two months ago. It wasn't a ton, but it was enough that I don't care that much about this job. So how about that, Slimmy? You fucking Slim Jim Asparagus dick hap Okay, no, that's not, that's not nice. Hey Siri, delete the last 15 seconds of this. Yeah, so yeah, just uh, just call us back and you can collect some money and God bless. Uh, yeah, I need the, if you can, if you can get the Wi-Fi on here, then I can, I can switch. Okay. What's your pin? Eight, one, three, eight, one, one, eight, one, three, eight, one, three, eight. Eight one three eight one three eight one three eight one three eight. Yeah, I can't cut it. Thanks. How do you? Let me do another. What are we doing here? We are doing prank calls. Thanks for being here, guys. I'm trying to come up with a new idea now. Um, there you go. Here you go. Thank you. Let me just make a video, though. Um, let's try the vacation one. If you know... Uh, if you know somebody who's on vacation right now, please let me call as one of their neighbors saying that I see people inside their house frogging, AKA squatting, and they need to come back right now because there's an entire family living in their house. Let me know in the comments if you got somebody good and hit follow because we're doing it live. If you know somebody... Here. Here. One day, if they have that posture, they're gonna be hunched back and overnight. That's Sue so Dillon. That's so fucking good. Anyway, yeah, we, we, we're so nice to talk to you, honey. All right. Well, it's uh, 4.20. Mm. I thought it was 5.30. If you guys want a guaranteed call, go to the link in Alex's bio. Mm -hmm. The queue is empty. My quest. All right. Heading to Biostat. Thank you so much, Smart Bunny. Okay, let's do. You don't have anyone in the queue? No. Cute. Okay, if you want to be next, go to the queue, get yourself a call, cute. go to the <laughs> bio, get yourself a call, and let's prank call GameStop. Hello. 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 Hi, what can I do for you? <laughs> Nothing. I'm Alex, how are we doing? No, who paid you? Someone paid you, bro. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, we're on your live. Someone paid you to call my friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. 
Okay, what am I doing? Let's do... Okay. GameStop. We're going to call GameStop. And uh, every single time I get a cowboy hat, I will make a really, really bad, embarrassing, cringe joke to the worker. Should have said that. Should have said that as a higher fucking gift to make so many bad. Oh, hi. How can I help you? Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I, I just had some questions about Nintendo Switches. Yeah, sure. What were we? Yeah. The uh, the the handheld console. Not trying to sex change or anything. Not trying to switch my uh, sex. Let me let me change it up to the. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's just a Zelda. Do you, do you guys have a Zelda, like, a console that's, like, special edition? Um, I don't believe so. Let me just check real quick. Stupid, stupid, stupid. That's another one. Uh, no, we do not, unfortunately. Can you just speak a little louder? I'm, I'm a little hard of hearing, sorry. Sorry, we don't have any more um, Zelda consoles. Okay, do you, have any, um, do you have any Pokemon plushies right now? Plushy, I hardly know he, <laughs> him, Pride Month. Uh, yes, we do. Which uh, which which Pokemon's do you got? Mostly Pikachu, but we have a few uh, Charmander, uh, Pokeballs, and Oddish. Oddish, <laughs> that's what my wife I called me, an Oddish, but she would never poke a man. I would want. It's a it's a pegging joke, uh, Salem. Stupid, not okay. good. Anyway, thank you for uh, thank you for your help over the phone. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, that's the worst one ever, dude. That is so cringe. Oh my god. Holy fuck. That was that was bad. Even for me, that was hard. Let's do it again. What store should I do that to? The one. What store should we do that to? What would be the the worst funeral? A funeral home. <laughs> I'll do it to a funeral home. That's gonna be more than Cowboy has though. Ross. T. Okay, let's do this one first. Ronnie. He's an easy one to get going. He's a Boston guy that lives in NH. Will Def be a tough guy on the phone? Thank you so much, Danny. He's, he's a heavy equipment operator and he tears buildings down. He thinks he's the best on the planet. This one. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person what is, you're uh, what is NH? Nor. Oh, I got this. Nebraska. Nebraska. New Hampshire. All right. I was way off. Hey, Ronnie.
Cubics. Hello. Hello. Is this Ronnie? Hello. Yeah. Hey, Ronnie. Uh, I got a bit of an issue here, man. You're uh, you're a heavy equipment operator, yes? I don't know who's this. Th this is Mark Antwis. I'm a foreman. Oh yeah, I'm an operator. Who's this? Th this is Mark Antwis. I'm a foreman. Oh yeah, I'm an operator. Say that you had uh, had harassed them on the job site. So that I harass them? Yeah. So, oh yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a man. Now he's gay, and he said that you uh, you made a homophobic joke. Yeah, okay. Who's that? Well, I can't, I don't want to give names out because that's where was it? That's a safety concern. Let me just get out my folder, sir. I can actually. They're they're willing to talk to you on the phone, so I could actually I could actually merge the call. That might be easiest. Just tell me where it was. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up right now. And when was it? Hey, tough guy, how's it going? It's me, Kelson. Wow, is this rude, Ronnie? Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Let's call, let's call him back. Hi, did you go through a tunnel? A tunnel of rudeness? <laughs> no, we don't we don't do that in Pride Month, hunty. I don't know who this is, but dude, you're a clown. I'm not a clown. I'm not a clown. Yeah, you are. Okay, buddy. And you're ugly. Just so you know you're ugly. Okay, thanks. Appreciate that. You have a big, flat, stupid face. Yep. And I would you never I would never kiss you. And the only machinery you're ever gonna operate is Stupid work machinery. <clears throat> yeah. That's cool. Go mega? Do you wanna maybe do you wanna maybe try a walk on the wild side? No man, I'm good, thanks, buddy. I could blow your mind, just so you know. I love straight guys. I'm the machine operator. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's cool. Yeah. You yeah. lie down. Nice. Just gently start massaging your buttocks and yeah. making you feel really, really welcome. That'd be awesome. Welcome. Yeah, you're turning me on. You're turning me on, man. Yeah, just put my whole fist up like a puppet, and then I could operate you like a machine. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it would. It would. And maybe if I did that, I could start working your mouth and make you be more polite. I would never, I would never hook up with you. Okay, cool. Bye, Pinocchio. Wait. I wasn't a puppet. Was pu was Pinocchio a puppet or just a toy, Ronnie? Okay, thank you. Oh, he was a puppet. Oh, no, it wasn't a puppet. It was a string, a stringed, a string puppet. Yeah, there was no hole in his ass. Is the uh, is the audio? In sync, or no? Okay. What business should I call for the bad jokes humiliation ritual?
Okay, five guys. Yeah, let's call five guys. <clears throat> now it's even more off. Is the audio synced or not? Test, test, test. Hello, hello, hello. It is not synced. Okay. Okay, are we good? Are we good? Yes or no? Still off? It's bad. Okay. Well, there's nothing else I can do. So that's fucking great. Is it in sync now? Blah, blah, blah. No. Yes. No. Okay, you might need to just leave, leave and come back. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not, not doing it anymore. So, that's it. We're calling five guys. Every single time I get a pair of sunglasses, I have to make a very, very cringe joke. That was great. That was a good way to lose hundreds of viewers and raise my blood pressure. Awesome. service. Very quiet. Hi there. Hey, is this five guys? Yeah. Oh, awesome. I just had some uh, questions about the menu. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, could I just uh, could I just pull in here and? Sorry. Can you hear me? Okay. Every sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. I have to. I have to make a really, really cringe joke. I'm not gonna even get any. I have no viewers. Okay, this is. Yeah. Um. Do you guys have? Uh, the the cheeseburger. You know the cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Yeah. God. Uh. Is it an automatic double cheeseburger? Yeah, it's with two patties. So little is one patty and regular is two patties. Two, two patties. I guess I'll be having a threesome with that burger. Me and two patties. That's great. Sex joke. Okay. Um, sorry, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I, it was, I made a sex. Um, I just had a question about the fries. So the Cajun fries, are those, um, yeah. are those spicy? Okay, um, how spicy on a scale of one to the length of my manhood? Ten. <laughs> how, how spicy are those? Not too spicy. A mild? Yeah. Good. Oh, the police are coming. They actually are. Okay. Oh, I, I dodged. I dodged a call. All right, Christy, do we, did you send me one? No, there aren't any. Okay. If you guys want a prank call, go to the link in my bio. And what am I fucking doing? I 
Do you think I should stop making the prank call ideas? Why? They, they fucking never work anymore. No. Ne- never. Like, call, call Chris from New York City who does way too much beep and pretend to be the New York Police Department. That's not a good one. Do you send me that one? I'll send you one. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's a Boston electrician that's super proud of being in the union. Just call and mess with him. Ask if he still lives with his mom and call him a cuck. Is it, is it out of sync? Should I just restart? I'm just losing viewers and the audio is out of sync and it's just not really a stoking experience right now. The audio is fucked still. It's out of sync. Let's, let's call it. No, this isn't, this isn't it. Just finish This is fucking whack, man. Okay. Uh... Dave, let's call Dave. We're gonna do this and then I'm gonna kill it. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Let's just restart it.